This tutorial covers the basic controls in the transition panel on the Cayenne and Carrera switchers. The Carrera panel has a reduced set of transition controls on the panel, but the additional controls are still available from the menu. The transition panel is the heart of manual control for the switcher. The display shows the status of the sources on each of the buses and provides control buttons to determine what is being transitioned and to set how the transition occurs. The left hand side of the status display shows the sources that are on the A, B, U1 and U2 buses along with the transition mode. The keyer sections will show the key fill source and each keyer's key cut source if a split key has been set up. It also displays the current priority for the six keyers. The hot key buttons control each of the six individual keyers. These are referred to as hot buttons as they will immediately transition the selected keyer when a key transition button is pressed without any preview for the key. The main control buttons provide selection of what is being transitioned on this ME bank. The choices for transition are, in any combination, background, any of the six keyers, and key priority. Background refers to a transition from background A bus to the background B bus, or backgrounds U1 and U2 if on the secondary ME. The result of a background transition will always be switched to the A or Air bus as the buses will flip-flop at the completion of the transition. This means that new backgrounds are always selected on the B bus. It is of course always possible to cut on air to a new background without preview by selecting on the A bus. Whenever a transition selection is made, the preview output from the ME will display the result of the transition. This is referred to as Look Ahead Preview. Selecting just the background transition button will show the new background source selected on the B background bus on the ME preview output. Selecting any one keyer for transition will show what that key will look like over the existing background on the A bus. A transition will then put the result on air. Following the transition, and without changing any buttons, a second transition will now take the key off air, as shown on preview. Selecting a different keyer will show its key on preview over the existing background. Transitioning this key will again put it on air for the ME. Selecting multiple keyers will preview the result of making this transition. To see a key over a new background means that you will need to select two components for transition, the keyer and the background bus. In other words, the transition buttons select what are you going to change. The key on indicator identifies which keyers are active on the ME output. Once the transitioning components have been selected, the type of transition can be selected. The transition types available are mix, two wipe patterns, wipe one and wipe two, or one of the six user configurable wipes. The actual transition can be performed using either the auto transition button or by moving the manual fader arm. Cut is always available regardless of the type of transition selected. There is one other type of transition available, Preset Black. When using Preset Black, the current ME output will first transition to black. Then on the next transition, complete the transition to the result being shown on preview. Preset Black is self-canceling once used. When Preset Black is used with keys, it will always transition the keys to black as well as the background video source, regardless of the selected transition components. The other button available is Transition Preview. 
When activated, Transition Preview will allow a transition to first appear on the preview output so the transition parameters, such as border color, etc., can be verified prior to making the transition on air. When using Transition Preview, it will automatically cancel when the transition completes, so the on-air transition can be made immediately following the preview. The Transition Preview Auto Off feature can be disabled in the Panel Prefs Panel User Interactions page. The status display indicates if any IDPM is in use. If the ME is in split mode, the display also shows if a keyer is available for the primary ME output, white dot, secondary ME output, green dot, or both outputs of the ME, both dots. Note the primary, secondary selection is only present if the ME is in split mode. Otherwise, all keyers will appear on the primary ME output. The Carrera Panel hotkey buttons can be set for cut or mix in its Panel Prefs Panel User Interactions menu. On the Cayenne Panel, both cut and mix hotkey buttons are available. In either switcher, each keyer mix transition rate as well as the main auto transition rate can be set. The transition rates are all displayed in the ME transition menu or can be set on the panel when trans rate is selected. Transition rates can be entered from the menu or from the EMEM keypad in various formats. A number entered on its own is considered to be in video frames, but is converted for display into seconds, frames, and fields. Otherwise, numbers can be entered in the format of seconds.frames.fields. The extra field is indicated by a lowercase f in the menu display. The keypad and transition displays do not show the extra field identifier and will round up the number for display to the next frame. So 7F becomes 8 frames in the display. Note that on the Carrera panel you can only enter seconds or seconds and frames. Transition rates are remembered as part of any EMEM effects. The auto transition rate display can be set for either seconds or frames in the panel user interactions page. There are also other selections available for the transition panel in the Panel User Interactions page. First, there is a choice for the position of the background button. Three positions are available. Top left next to key 1, below key 1, or in the bottom left position. These positions were used on previous Grass Valley switchers, and this allows an operator to set the position of the background button as desired. Obviously, if a change is made in the menu for the button layout, then the button keycap positions should also be changed. The positions of the cut and auto transition buttons can also be reversed. Again, the button caps should also be swapped if this change is made. The last preference related to the transition panel is the Depop Adds Key Transitions Enable button. Depop is short for Double Press Operation. When enabled, this feature allows two very useful double press operations on the transition panel. The first of these is Key Priority. Double pressing Key Priority will select all active keyers for the transition so that an operator can quickly transition to a clean background. The second of these is Background. Double pressing the background button will select any keyers that are active for transition. Plus it will select the background transition as well. So a clean transition can quickly be made to a new background source. Wipes, user transitions, and key functions are discussed in another tutorial. This completes the tutorial on the Carrera and Cayenne transition panel.